So this is our main knit crate yarn and it's called Blank Canvas and I followed Rebecca's instructions on how to dye my yarn and we have a video on that and her YouTube channel is called Cam Knits Tutorials so very interesting very nice so I want to make placemats with this and I want to use a Tunisian hook and I'm using an H hook and so I made a swatch and it has to be a multiple of four plus one so my swatch had 33 stitches which is 32 multiple of four plus one is 33 and it gave me six inches so that means that if I want to have 16 inches I need to work with 89 stitches that means 88 a multiple of 4 plus 1 is 89 so I made my chain I made 89 chains and once I made my chain I want to pick up the back of those of, of the chains that means that bump in the back so let me show you a little bit closer the bump of each of the chains so like that you have a very nice edge so pick up the bump in the back of the chain and that's the last one so let's see how this stitch is done this is my base row so row number one you are going to make three chains on that first stitch that's one two and three chains once you have your three chains, you are going to yarn over and take five strands off. That means one, two, three, four, and five. Once you have your five off, you are going to yarn over and secure them all in place there we go and now you want to make three chains again one two and three again we're going to take five stitches off that is one two three four and five and again I want to secure them in place and make three three chains one two and three so now again I take five stitches off yarn over take one two, three, four, and five, yarn over, secure them in place, and make your three chains, one, two, three, and you go all the, the whole row you do that so you're going to chain three take say take five off secure them in place chain three take five off secure them in place chain three take five off secure them in place chain three and you do that all the way to the end you're going to end with taking five off and securing them in place
I'm at the end of the first row and I'm chaining three. One, two, three. And now I need to yarn over and take these five off. And now I need to secure them in place. Okay, so now I need to pick up my stitches and I am going to pick up that strand that secured the stitches so that one there and then one from each of the three chains so you can pick up from the bottom or from the top whatever you wish so you can pick up like the whole chain but I'm picking up only one strand because it's easier so that's one two and three and then I pick up from the place where I secured my stitches and then again three from the chains that is one, two, and three, and then one from where I secured my chain, my, my stitches. Oops, there we go. And then again, three from the chains. And you go all the way to the end, picking up your stitches, and you should have the same amount that you started with. And I will see you when I finish this. Okay, so I'm finishing my second row. I just need a few here. So pick up that and pick up the three chains from the beginning so that's one two and three so let's start again we are going to make three chains one two Three. and now take five off that's one two three four and five and I secure them and chain three one two and three so again, take five off, that is one, two, three, four, five, secure them in place, and chain three, one, two, three, and again, let's do that yarn over and take five off one two three four five whoops and let them go let's do that two three four five secure them in place and chain three And you do that all the way to the end of the row. Okay, so I'm at the end of the takeoff row. So let's see. I'm going to do my three chains. And then yarn over and take off five. That's one, two, three, four, five. And I secure them in place. 
and now I am going to start picking up so that would be one and the three chains so that's one two and three So I look for the base stitch and then pick up my three chains. That's one, two, and three. And then you do that all the way to the end and you repeat these two rows, you know, pick up and then take off and uh, I'll see you when I have more done. So I want my placemat to be 16 inches wide and at least 12 inches up. So that's what I have here and now I need to finish, have a finished row and that's what I'm going to do. So this is the row in which I chained three and the next row, I instead of picking up my stitches, I change to an H hook, a regular H hook, and I am going to single crochet on each one of these stitches. So let's go and do that. That is the one that gathered all of them. And I'm single crocheting each one of these. So those are the three. And I go into each one of them like what I did when I picked up stitches but instead of picking up you're going to single crochet each one there we go and I'm going to do that the whole row I am going to take some pictures so you can see how this looks and it's very very pretty I'm going to also make a coaster and I'll write the instructions so that one too and uh, I will see you in another video thank you very much for watching us and share us with your friends and subscribe and thank you I'll see you next time